Sobel. I'm the Vice President of Development for Mass Market Events, and I'm going to tell you about the MS Bike Tour and why you should ride in the MS Bike Tour next year. <laughs> The MS Bike Tour is one of the largest one-day charity bike tours in the world. You have a choice of riding 30, 60, or 100 miles, and it's an amazing ride. You get to circle the city traffic-free through the Lincoln Tunnel, up through New Jersey, up into uh, Rockland County, uh, back down across the George Washington Bridge, and back down to the finish line. It's truly a remarkable ride, um, a really a once-in-a-lifetime event. And the best part about it is that you ride for charity. The money you raise will help people with MS and their families in the tri-state area. 40% of the money you raise goes to research and 60% of the money stays here in the New York City area. Programs and services, um, every, everything from yoga to home health care, um, all is provided thanks to the money that you raise at the MS Bike Tour. How far are you riding? Uh, 30 miles. 30 miles? You enjoying it? You're not too cold? No, not too cold. It's great. Great. Yeah. Uh, this is rest stop number yeah, one, yeah. Coalition yeah. Park, or uh, called Inwood Park, for those okay. who are going to do the 30 to 60 and the 100 miles. Our second rest stop will be on the other side of the tunnel in New Jersey uh, for the ones that are doing the 60 and the 100, and we're going all the way up, up past Alpine. Uh, Congress, New York, back, back across the George Washington Bridge, and back down to Chelsea. That will be the termination of the ride. I'm looking forward to a good day. How many times have you been riding the uh, MS? Um, this is my first time. Oh. First you, time doing 60 miles. And have you done these route, any of this route before you've done this, this no, tour? I've done around Manhattan and that's all I've done. I haven't come over to Jersey before. What do you think about River Road? I do like it actually, especially at the beginning. I thought it was great. Those hills are uh, screaming though. This is how hard it is to pedal uphill. <laughs> With who knows how many pounds of gear. I don't recommend it for the week of heart. <laughs> or the week of legs. Yeah, that's true. You won't need sunglasses. <laughs> the tunnel doesn't have any width. Yeah, I would take one of the shades. My special arrangement is that I don't pick it up.
Got it. We're the MS Foundation. We're volunteer from Weehawken High School. We're the Pure Pride group. How long have you been out here? We've been, we've been like out here since three hours. hours. Like in the Aren't you freezing? No, I'm yeah. not really. It's all you worth like the it. Water? Seeing, the, seeing the smiles on the bikers' faces, that's good enough for me. Cool. <laughs> Well, the best way to register for this event is to go online. You can go to our website at www.msnyc.org. It'll take you right through the registration process. It's very, very easy. And when you register online, you'll be set up with your own individual web page that you can use for fundraising. For those of you who, uh, who will raise over $100, um, you can get a, an official MS Bike Tour t-shirt um, for raising over $100. We also have incredible prizes from uh, other prize vendors, including American Airlines has wonderful trips. Um, Bianchi has incredible cycling gear um, and jerseys. Um, there's all sorts of different things that you can win. If you want to cycle traffic and toll free, and if you want to cycle for a good cause, on a tremendously unique and incredible and exciting and phenomenal ride than the MS Bike Tour is for you. Well, we're very fortunate to have George Jinkaby here, who has uh, come to town to see his pop and spend some time with us, and we organized a ride, raised some much-needed uh, money for transportation alternatives to help uh, uh, do some important things for the park. We we're working to close some of the entrances in the park and slow the cars down, as well as, uh, fingers crossed, to push the times the cars can be in the park during the week back uh, from 6.30 to 7 a.m. That would make a very big difference to all the bikers and runners because the cars are the primary risk we have for our safety. So how do you know George? Um, I am one of the fortunate or unfortunate few uh, owners of the U.S. Postal Service bike team, as well as I'm a sponsor of the U.S. Uh, Postal Service bike team. And I got to know George uh, through that affiliation and have uh, done some rides with him. And it'll be a lot of fun. George um, has the ability to go very fast if he so desires. You're not worried about getting dropped today, though? Um, no, I'm not worried about getting dropped, but I uh, do know the way home. That's the most important thing. Ricardo <laughs> Hincapi. Father of George, uh, retired now, enjoying life, doing some rides here with the boys. Uh, I don't know where we're going to go today, but I just follow the wheels, see what happens. So you're going to give up for George today then, hey? Uh, I, I hope so, as long as I don't do any of the pulling. Thank you, sir. We're going to the fair and do all the fires up there today. Uh, yeah. <laughs>
nice and slow. Means you, Earl. No, no flying off the front. Just to spin our legs a little bit. And then at the very top of the park, we're going to roll out over to Riverside, up Riverside, across the bridge, and then up 9W to Nyack. Um, the whole idea is just to have a nice tempo ride. You know, so we don't want to average 12. We'd actually like to average in the low 20s, but it's not a race. Um, and the whole idea now, because it's wet and the leaves are down, is just to go really slowly and just spin our legs and warm up a little bit and not crash. Because that sucks. to be uh, sprayed by George Hincapi, <laughs> by George Hincapi's back wheel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lexi, good lead out, good lead out. Okay. All right, Lexi, go, go! Get up, sit down, shift around, train stop, squeaking sound, all a part of the machinery, a moment of urban harmony. Hey, what's up, Clarence? How are you? How was the ride? Oh, oh. Beautiful on the way there, brutal on the way back. Oh, really? Was it wind, wind in your face? No, the wind was in our back, but just trying to keep up with these guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's a little on the tough side. All right, great. Tommy! Say discovery. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Great event, uh, you know, raising awareness for <laughs> for having the, the park open for a little bit, a little bit more time to get the bike riders out there. Uh, it's great for safety, and it's just, it's great to get more people out there riding their bikes. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's good for the environment. It's good for people's health. Uh, there's really no no negative points about it, so I, I'm glad that I'm able to be here and uh, help out in that cause. All right, thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Bye, George. Thanks, George.
Stand by. I have a chance to eat. There's no warning. They just boxed it in and shut it down. Let us out. We're just to These people want to leave. Let them leave. This is bullshit. Okay. Excuse me. All right, I'll do that. Big group in there. They're dire and what the fuck street is Just get uh, on the sidewalk, um, thank you. Come on, folks! Sidewalk! Looks like mass arrests are about to happen. We're not entirely sure. Can we go get in there? There's a bike ride from Manhattan. We get escorted by the police and we go along until we can disperse. Until we disperse. Yeah. Right. Can we do a party here at 444? Oh, thanks. Side to see if no, they're off there too. It's blocked off on our side. I've never experienced where they come in and just box off the street, you ride into a basically a, a gauntlet of police. Everyone turns around and is panicking and trying to get out, and then they're closing us in on that end with no warning. And like a few people, I managed to just get out at the last minute, but they didn't give us any warning. They didn't even like if I hadn't really ran past the cop on my bike, I wouldn't have gotten out. This, this is not legal. People were riding bikes. It was a crowd of bikes. We couldn't go forward. We were all out riding our bikes, and suddenly the police blocked us off, gave us no chance to disperse, and started arresting people. I was arrested in San Francisco. They didn't give us an order of dispersal either. I was there. They sometimes do this in Kentucky. Yeah. They're supposed to. They're supposed to, this. yeah. This might get dismissed because of this. I this hope may so. just be their way of breaking up the rally and showing a force. That guy's being arrested. arrested. Did you jump in there and get their name? Right. Jump in there and get that guy's name. Get who they're taking. Their names are taken out. Okay. Well, I didn't get arrested. I. Uh, uh, was there when they broke the line in half and uh, the riot police came out. Anyone else want to give your name to legal? It was great. It was the first one I ever did and it was yeah. fun. It was really fun. A lot of people rode their bikes around and with, with various notions about why they were doing it. Uh, there was a huge bike ride, like, kind of protesting, and then it kind of ended down here. And then there's some people who, like, want to fight with the police and be like, we don't want to go, we don't, we want to stay here. Wow. And then the police are like, we're going to arrest you. I said, they're here come like, one, two, three, four buses. This is ridiculous. What are the police doing? Mr. Safety Speaks. Hi, Mr. Safety here with a tip. Pedestrians have a right to cross the road. So stop your bike at the crosswalk and let them cross. Think about it. Mr. Safety has spoken. Next, Northgate Fourth Woman Crowd by Elizabeth Lenders Broadway, Metro Park, Kentucky. Edison and Brunswick, Jersey Avenue, Preston Junction, Hamilton. Hi, this is Mike Gaughan, and I'm on the New Jersey Transit Train to Trenton, where I'll be transferring to the SEPTA train to Philadelphia, so stay tuned and see where I go. It is surprisingly easy to travel to Philadelphia with your bicycle, since New Jersey Transit and the Southeastern Pennsylvania Transit Authority, SEPTA, both allow bikes on board without a permit. 
New Jersey Transit even sells a combined round-trip ticket at Penn Station. Call 1-800-772-2222 or visit www.njtransit.com for the latest fare information. You transfer at Trenton for the R7 SEPTA train, which is usually waiting at Trenton for the connection with New Jersey Transit. Again, SEPTA requires no permit to take a bicycle on the train. Your combined fare allows you to get off at 30th Street Station, the main rail station for Philadelphia, Suburban Station in Center City, or the Market East Station on Filbert Street near Chinatown. The Bicycle Coalition of Greater Philadelphia is at 100 South Broad Street, near the corner of Broad and Chestnut Streets in Center City. They can provide you with a bicycle map and general biking information for Philadelphia. Their website is www.bicyclecoalition.org. Philadelphia is the cradle of our nation, with such places as Independence Hall, where the Declaration of Independence was signed, Betsy Ross House, where the first American flag was made, Mother Bethel AME Church, the first congregation of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, founded in 1787 by Richard Allen, who was a former slave, and Thaddeus Kosciuszko's house, the Polish engineer who has a bridge named in his honor in New York. A new addition to the city is the National Constitution Center, which tells the story of the Constitution in a new state-of-the-art building using the latest technology to describe the past and explore the future of our nation's governing document. General tourist information can be gotten at the Independence Visitor Center at 6th and Market Streets. So put yourself and your bike on a train and visit Philly for a hoagie and some history. Mr. Safety Speaks. Hi, Mr. Safety here. To avoid being doored, ride three feet or more away from parked cars. As cyclists, we have a right to the road. Exercise it. Mr. Safety has spoken. I'm George and Cappy, and you're watching Bike TV. Mr. Safety is not fooled by the media.